Ladies and gents, you beautiful people, I hope you all are having an amazing, beautiful day as always. And in this video, I want to talk about stats, mods and materials in Destiny 2. And we will also go over where to get all the basic but very important and precious mods. <sighs> precious such as mobility, resilience, and so on. We will talk about which stats you need to focus on as a hunter, titan, or warlock. So all this information should be very helpful for new Destiny 2 players. I do have a video uploaded a few months ago where I talk in depth about armor masterworking and double hundred stats and how I achieved them. So I'll drop that one in the description in case you want some in-depth information on masterworking and how I farm my best legendary and exotic gear and more. But in this video I want to go more in depth on best ways to farm all kinds of materials, mods and the very basic knowledge you need to understand your character if you're a hunter, warlock or titan as a new Destiny 2 player. So if you do enjoy videos like these don't forget to like and subscribe guys it truly does help me out a lot and is very very appreciated. You will also find a lot of very badass builds, guides and PvP gameplays on the channel and if you're looking for a beautiful and very very chill discord community i will leave the link in the description now let's get right into it so we have six main stats in the game mobility resilience recovery discipline intellect and strength depending on which character you are playing each of these stats will be more or less useful for the specific class as you get better armor with better overall rolls your stats will go up however we also have mods for each stat that you can equip on your armor piece you can only have one of these specific mods per armor piece but whichever you choose will grant you a plus 10 stat so if it's a recovery mod you'll get plus 10 recovery and so on you can increase each stat to a max of tier 10 which is a total of 100 points anything above that is a waste higher tiers mean lower cooldowns on specific abilities and we are going to go over each stat one by one right now and we'll also talk about how you can acquire these basic mods let's start with mobility getting your mobility to max will increase your movement speed and make you jump higher and it is also great for strafe speed which means that you will be harder to hit in pvp if you're strafing and shooting at the same time you can get all of these benefits on any character you play by increasing your mobility however mobility is even more important for the hunter because it decreases the cooldown of the class ability of the hunter which is the dodge and in general many of hunters perks and setups are built around the dodge ability and getting mobility to tier 10 which is the highest tier will bring the cooldown all the way down to 9 seconds. So 99% of the time as a hunter, you want to have your mobility as your main stat. Now there are some other ways to get your dodge back even faster than that, and I'll drop the link to that video in the description, but today we're just gonna go over the basics for new players. Now let's move on to the next stat on the list, and that is resilience. This stat is in the same way unique to a titan as mobility is to a hunter. Having more resilience increases your HP no matter which class you're on but as mentioned it is unique to the Titan as it lowers the cooldown for the Titan class ability which means that you can have your barricade back every 14 seconds. Honestly this is very very helpful both in PvP and PvE. It gives you a lot of survivability and for me personally having 10 resilience is just too much fun to miss out on. It makes the Titan feel more like a true tank and I find that really cool. Next is recovery. This stat is helpful and probably the most important one for survivability for all characters in general because it regenerates your health really fast if it's at a higher tier. This stat can save your life many many times and get you out of situations that you can't even imagine. However for warlocks this stat is even more important as it lowers the cooldown of the class ability so you can get your rifts back way way faster with tier 10 recovery. So mobility increases movement speed and strafe speed on all characters but decreases class ability cooldown only for the hunter resilience increases your hp for all characters but decreases your class ability cooldown only as a titan and then we have recovery that regenerates your health faster on all characters but decreases the class ability only for the warlock. So these are the three stats that decrease class ability cooldowns, so keep that in mind as you are building your character. 
for the next three stats, discipline decreases grenade cooldown, intellect gives you your super faster, and I mean much faster, you can get it as fast as three minutes and around 50 seconds, and strength decreases your melee ability cooldown. Now let's talk about how you can get the mods that give you plus 10 on your armor pieces, such as mobility, resilience, recovery, and so on. All you need to do is unlock legendary ingrams or turn in tokens at vendors, and you will have a chance to receive them. So if you're doing strikes and have saved up some tokens, Zavala, the bold and the blue is your guy. Turn them in and you get a chance to get these mods and some armor or weapons. If you love PvP, the legend himself, Shax, is the man you need to visit with your tokens and pretty much do the same. And if you do have gunsmith materials, you can go to Banshee, which also has a chance to give you these mods as you turn in your gunsmith materials. But keep in mind that Banshee only gives you weapons. So if you're trying to get these mods and you are also looking for some armor pieces, Zavala and Shax are a better choice. But if you're out of tokens and only have some gunsmith materials, it's fine. Just visit Banshee and turn them in. Also, if you're looking for reload mods, such as let's say hand cannon reloader or auto rifle reloader, once again, the gunsmith is a great place. Turn your materials in and hopefully you get exactly what you need. I mean, you guys know that the RNG on this channel is on a completely different level. So I'm gonna make sure that the RNG gods bless you all. Keep in mind that we also have enhanced versions of reload mods. And in order to get these, pinnacle activity packages are the best source. However, another amazing way to get enhanced mods such as enhanced auto rifle reloader or enhanced sidearm reloader and so on is Iron Banner. So make sure to gather those tokens, visit the man himself, Lord Saladin, turn them in and you're gonna have a high chance of getting enhanced mods. So make sure to play this mode every time it's available and grind some more and more tokens. Now let's take a minute to talk about the materials you need to masterwork your gear. By the way, for completely new players that don't know what masterworking does, it increases your overall stats on a armor piece. As mentioned, I already have a video about masterworking and what kind of armor pieces you need to reach those beautiful double hundred stats, which you will find in the description. Okay, back to the materials. And let's start with the easiest one, and that's legendary shards. For this one, guys, it's pretty obvious and simple. Just dismantle armor, weapons, shaders, pretty much everything you don't need, and just play the game, honestly, and you will get a lot of legendary shards. When you decide to masterwork your best gear, you're gonna need three other materials. Enhancement cores, prisms, and ascendant shards. The best way to get enhancement cores and prisms is one, the daily bounties from Banshee. Yeah, I know, Banshee is a really popular guy. Two, complete the Pit of Heresy dungeon every week on every character you have, because after you defeat the boss, it gives you a guaranteed masterworked armor piece, which is great to begin with when you're a new player, but let's say you already have a better armor piece with better stats, you can dismantle this one and get a good amount of materials. But in order to complete this dungeon, you must have the Shadow Keep expansion. The third option for those that love PvP, hitting 1800 points in Valor rank will also get you 10 enhancement cores, which honestly isn't that hard, especially if you have some double Valor point events happening. For those that don't know, Valor is pretty much all the non-competitive PvP playlists in Destiny 2. And even if you play competitive, which has a different ranking system, it will still increase your Valor, which is great. Great. And then the fourth option as you get higher power level is the 1020 Nightfall, which also can be a good source to farm these materials, guys. Get your OP fire team, jump in and farm some beautiful 1020s. Next up, we have the planetary materials. These you can get just from running around and picking them up on different planets. However, there are also other ways to get them. But first, let's take a look at the locations. On Titan, you can find Alcane Dust. On Earth, you you can find dusk light shards on Nessus microfacic data lattice on Io face glass needle Mars comes with seraphite Mercury simulation seed the tangled shore etheric spiral and finally in the dreaming city you can find the the Baryon bow Baryon Bach 
I, I literally have no idea how to pronounce this. Anyway, you can find this thing, whatever the name is, in the Dreaming City. And the other way I was talking about is you can go to the Tangled Shore and visit Mr. Spider right here. And he has different materials for sale every day. And you can buy them with legendary shards or sometimes with Glimmer, or it can be all the way around and you can buy Glimmer and legendary shards with the planetary materials. It just rotates every day. You can even buy buy some enhancement cores from this guy but be very careful because every time you buy them with legendary shards the cost goes up so yeah you don't want to be doing this while watching a movie and just pressing the button to buy all these enhancement cores because that price is gonna go up and you're gonna be left with zero legendary shards trust me it happened to a few of my friends the reason you want to have planetary materials in the first place is you're gonna need them to buy the infusion cores which are needed to increase the power level of the gear you like so for example you have an armor piece but then you have another one that is higher power level but it's just not as good right when it comes to stats you can take that one and infuse it to the one that is lower and that's when you're going to need the planetary materials to buy those infusion cores and the final material and the rarest one is the ascendant shard which you need for the final step of master working your armor the easiest way especially for a new player is to farm prisms and then you can spend 10 prisms at Banshee and buy one Ascendant Shard. So for beginners, just save up all those prisms and then slowly buy the Ascendant Shards. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you have the Season Pass purchased, you do get all the materials we mentioned as you level it up. So in my humble opinion, this makes it absolutely worth it. Also guys, as you get higher power level, don't waste materials on upgrading gear. As you get higher and higher power level, you will be changing your gear pieces a lot and it's just not worth spending materials early. It really isn't. Just keep them for end game. Trust me, you'll need a lot of it. Keep legendary shards, enhancement cores, prisms, gunsmith materials, all of it. It's better to be ready for end game and have all the tools when you need them than to waste them early on gear pieces Pieces that you will end up dismantling anyway. If you get a blue that is higher than the purple you have, just use that blue armor piece, guys. Don't infuse it into the legendary. You will still swap it out really, really quick because you're still increasing that power level and you will get tons of new gear. You can dismantle most of the drops you get when it comes to armor pieces, but if you feel like some of them have the stats you need, keep them. Another thing to keep in mind is that for next season, many of the weapons and armor pieces are gonna be sunset which means that you can't infuse them after a certain power level however you can see which gear pieces and weapons are infusible to a higher level so only spend your materials on upgrading and masterworking gear and weapons that are infusible to at least 1260 or higher and have actually good stats as a new player i think it's not worth spending materials on stuff that won't be useful as soon as the new expansion hits you want to have some powerful weapons and armor as the expansion goes live and as you get blue drops from the new expansion or even purple ones that is higher power level but just isn't as good on stats as the one you already have you can just infuse them into the gear you already own none of the exotics are getting sunset so don't worry about that in the perfect scenario guys at endgame you want to have a few different armor sets masterworked with different stats so depending on what you're doing you can swap your armor around maybe you need more grenades for an activity then you put on gear with discipline or maybe you need more survivability then you can go resilience and recovery especially on titans this combination is very good there are also seasonal mods that are placed in the final slot of your armor and some of these are very unique some are sold at banshee in a random rotation so keep an eye out and if you see some interesting mods make sure to grab them because some of them give you free stats pretty much for example powerful friends gives you plus 20 mobility when activated and you still get a slot to add a normal mobility mod that we talked about which would be a total of 30 mobility from one armor piece and that's if you don't even count the actual stat the armor came with okay i think we covered all the information you need as a beginner when it comes to stats mods materials honestly this is a great time to jump in for new players because we have a very big expansion on the way and all of you new guardians have a lot of time to get ready grind some materials and gear and jump into the 
expansion with your badass setups and just enjoy the journey, guys. Remember, always have fun with the game and create memories because that's what it's all about. Hope you all enjoyed the video and found it helpful. There's more PvP builds, PvE builds, some badass PvP gameplays and beautiful guides on the way. So if you do enjoy the content, a like and a sub is very, very appreciated and it truly does help me out a lot. Thank you once again for all the amazing support and as always, have a crazy beautiful day.